G'day everyone, welcome back to NS2 HD. I'm here for Finland versus France, the grand final of the NSL Nations Cup, and Blind is with me. Hello, Blind. Hello, you. Oh my oh, god. Starting. It was starting yes. in 10 seconds. All right, Blind, I will let you take this one away. All right, guys. So, here we're starting game two. Oh, just let me do it again. I had my old intro video there going. So there we go. Game 2 of the NSL Nations Cup here. France versus Finland. The Grand Finals here played on Summit. The second game on this map. We see now France playing as Marines down in South in sub-axis. And the Finns up in Asia. And quick grabbing of the ventilation and computer lab close extractors by the Marine team. The alien team spreading down South. Uh, down this map, Tain uh, is the point man for the team. We've actually got first contact at the base of Crossroads uh, with Wii playing around in the ventilation shafts there. Let me see a 2 2 1 opening here by France. A solid, just capping opening, not over aggressive like a three man pressure we've seen by some other teams. Um, and the aliens are trying to adapt to that. Finland's trying to figure out where Marines are weaker so they can hit an RT right now. There's a lot of dancing, for back, no big engagements. Except there's one in pipe junction, Nate taking King Yo, but not much happening so far yet. Fast research of mines by the Marine teams. We'll be seeing them place around crucial structures such as extractors at some point during this game. Of course, mines are also a little bit of a personal resource sink in the early game, can slow the, the acquisition of shotguns later. But uh, these, uh, these competitive players, their use of mines is so pro. And if you're playing in pub games, use more mines is definitely a good piece of advice. Oh, definitely. And it's safe for base rushes, you know. You don't need an ops to beacon. Mines are much more safer, so you can't can log out and kill three skulls. If there's enough mines around, that's definitely a good call. Absolutely. Nate and Solar are securing pipe jumps at the moment. This might be the very early stages of an alien uh, dr hive drop in data core. I might have spoken too soon there, though, because Eagle Eye and Kingo just annihilated. But look out for the position the aliens are choosing for their second hive. Pressure in Computer Lab as well. Yeah, so we see the first uh, switching of the RTs. I think, yeah, the first RT is now going down at the two minute mark. They have three RTs up. Nope, no pressure actually up by France so far. They're trying to get up there, I, I would say, five extractors or even six before they will hit anything. Um, getting armor one, weapon one up, and then start the first pressure on both sides. Right now, it looks good for Finland because they will keep gathering those resources. Kingo and Eagle are about to encounter a Skulk pack over in Data Core. Those Skulks actually holding off for a second. Now Kingo is the only one. Nate, Solar, and it looks like both Marine Squad and Alien uh, pack heard each other and decided to hold. And now nothing's happened. So we've got a little bit of a, a white flag moment happening over there. And Flight Control, though, must see some combat. I feel like both teams playing quite cautious at the moment. Yeah, they're really trying to position themselves as best as they can. The aliens are trying to bypass them, getting for the RTs, only come back if needed for defense. Here's a 2v2 engagement in flight control, not the best engagement for the aliens. So Heracles goes for the double pistol kill. Really nice shot, but he had the better position. Um, so it was not that smart to engage as an alien that moment in, yeah, in the process that might lose crevice. Three Hydras in Reactor Core are slowing down Eagle Eye and Kingo, but it's nothing they can't deal with. Nate very wisely waiting for Solar to come with him through the ventilation shaft, and now we could have defense. Yes, both Skulks dropping at the same time, going for two targets. One kill. Oh my goodness, one kill on either side, but uh, it, it went to the Marines' favor, and if we cannot take down Eagle Eye, then the Marines could lose this Reactor Core Harvest, so they don't want to do that. You don't want to be messing around with your close Harvesters. You want to be pushing for the second Hive, getting up to three or four Harvesters. I think Eagle Eye will be taken down here. Yes, he is, and now we've got combat in Crossroads as well. Sorry, I mean, just Llama working on the extractor. Five extractors to three harvesters at the moment. Uh, Eli did a lot of damage here, even, even if it did not kill that harvester. It took a long time for them to clear out this lonely marine left there, because it did not wait for V at the end, but here we go. Crossroads King, you one versus three. Llama not even care about it. It was pretty close when he could have even taken all three. And we see ammo one and shotguns is on the way. Now, I think as soon as shotguns are out in the field, the pressure will really commence here by Team France. I would not want to go up against one of these Frenchmen if they have a shotgun. Just putting it out there. I mean, even with rifles, even if I was a fade, I don't think I could take any of these French players. I mean, they are just, they are such surgeons. So once the shotguns come out, it gets really dangerous. The alien team, the welders are on the way as well. Armor level one is out. Weapons level one is on the way. So we've got a bit of a tech explosion happening for the Marine team right now. Oh, definitely. They build up the amount of extractors they want. They have now double pressure. Good timing here. Both Hitting both RTs in reactor core and in crevice. And the aliens have to choose what to defend. Looks like right now they want to hit um, 
save Kravis, but the Lurk is going Ractacore. This might be really close. Both Harvesters under pressure. It's always good to see a Marine team pressuring onto alien territory this aggressively. Oh, Llama Whoa. just saving that Harvester. 50%. There is green blood oozing out of this disgusting life form right now. They do manage to save both Harvesters. Very crucial. I'm taking a look at the resource tower graph right now. You can see it is tracking quite good for the Marine side. I'm not sure if Blind's showing it to you as well. And on the team resources graph, the aliens have collected about 110, the Marines 220 or so. Yes, so saving both Harvest at the same time was super risky call, and it completely worked out. I'm really impressed by the choice Finland made there. And also Peachum, this time opting for Watchtown, so there's something he always misses or really doesn't like to. Um, but this time going for Watchtowns before he drops the second hive, and I think this is really important. France also lacked the timing of that a little bit. In the end it didn't hurt them, but you really want to have a Gorgetown before you drop the hive. So much safer. And what do you reckon uh, the alien team is going to use the Gorge Tunnels for? Are they going to try and link both their hives together blind? Is that the goal? Is it sort of a defensive play to increase mobility between hives? Or is it something more offensive in nature? No, definitely defensive. You want to link both hives each other and want to make sure that however wherever the Marines are pushing, wherever you spawn, you can immediately go to one hive and defend it. If you put it up in the open to, let's say, a more aggressive opening, like want to put it like a face gate, um, the Marines can also abuse that and go into your fresh hive and snipe upgrades. So <laughs> it can be a double-edged sword there. That's why you mainly use the defensive lane. Crevice right now, seeing pressure from the alien, from the Marine team. Sorry, the Harvest has gone down. These Marines are actually quite wise in retreating. It's a good measure of a competitive team when you know when to retreat, when to fight. On a battlefield of my choosing, at a time of my choosing, remember the words of Sun Tzu when playing Natural Selection 2. <laughs> it's very important. Solar wisely holding in the rafters of Data Core right now as Eagle Eye and Ray pressure in. There's the Gorge Channel. They're going to go straight for it. But what they don't realize is that an alien pack coming out of the darkness here to take them down. Oh boy. This is pretty massive. Oh, it oh, goes down! He <laughs> just waited for the last shot. He killed the Gorge Tunnel. It was really important. And we see, anyways, the Hive drop. Two more Marines outside. Dabs and King Yo. They heard that. They heard that one. They know exactly what's going on. The aliens did not scout those two Marines in the back. That's really pay painful now. And they also lost the Gorge Tunnel. It's not linked anymore. It's not linked, so all those defensive advantages that Gorge Tunnel would have provided that Blind told you about earlier are now not going to happen. This hive is growing. Three crags dropped. The purpose of those crags is to heal that hive two full hit points before it's fully grown, which makes it easier to defend. Heracles taking down the crevice harvester. These Frenchmen are doing some serious damage to Finland right now, and while this second hive is going up, I can't help but feel that the Marine team has momentum. Oh yeah, definitely. I like the move by Heracles hitting crevice now, so hopefully the Marines, the aliens are distracted a little bit and going there to work on the Harvester. But it looks like they're not going actually committing on a Hive, they're just going for a tease. Working on crevice, working on Raptor Core, those two Marines could have hit together with Ray into Data Core. And it would be actually a good time to kill the Hive if you want to do so, but it shows different. It shows go for Eco Game, go for Longer Game, and try to win the slow and safe. Peach in the Gorge healing himself up, taking fire from Eagle Eye, who's actually very low in health. The, the, the Lurk could swoop in and kill there if he knew how low his health was. Weapons level 1, uh, making it a little bit easier for this Marine to take down the Harvesters. 41%. It's going to be okay, I believe, with Peach him healing it. Ray surviving a lot longer than I would have expected here. So this alien position here in Data Core is looking fairly secure, but the fact that they don't even have Reactor Core is a worry because it indicates that the Marines are exercising excellent... Uh, ex uh, uh, executing excellent pressure on alien territory. Oh, definitely. They already killed, let me check here, three harvesters, which is pretty nice done. Um, keeping that RT count down to about three. Dems is working with the shotguns, some magic shots here on all those skulls and crossroads. He's getting like the fourth kill now, only the Lord left. He has to fly home, he's pretty low on health. Uh, it's just crazy. One man pressure team by Dams and securing the gate, putting up the face gate, and this is going to be the base of operations for future pressure for Team France. There is the phase gate. So we have a defensive gorge tunnel between Atrium and Datacore, and a uh, a more offensive phase gate between Sub Access and Crossroads. Crossroads is a fantastic position to have. Gives great access to the rest of the map. Eagle Lang and Dams pushing down from uh, crossroads to Summit Reception into Crevice right now, where they could take in this Harvester again if Nate's unable to stop them. Yeah, trying to work. You know, they put up the Crossroads gate. I really like in that situation having um, 
maybe Pipe Junction and Summon Reception Phase Gate because it gives um, both really good options to pressure. And I'm not sure why, but my computer is spacing out a oh, little bit. Oh, I don't think I it's you. It's, it's me as well. It might be the server taking a dump blind. It looks like it's trying to recover, but oh, I see server, nothing yeah. in the console, but it looks like it might oh, be... Oh, God. It's a server. Oh, no! Yeah, oh, there's the, the red plug of doom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. This doesn't happen very often anymore. And I mean, remember the bad old days of Natural Selection 2? And it was like, oh, God, it's crashing again. But I'm very surprised I, I to see this happening now. Yeah, I didn't see that for about five months or something. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen a competitive game go down like this in a very long time, but I guess unfortunately it does happen. I can see it trying to recover. It's updating a frame every few seconds, but uh, it's definitely dead. And yeah, both. so something's gone wrong here. Um, I'm actually going to check my net stats at the moment just to figure out. It's always fun to try and figure out what's causing this server rate... Uh choke a hundred percent so it's the server's not receiving anything anymore yeah, yeah. it looks like yeah. could be maybe some malicious intent or something oh, well know? it might be or it might be just is this what is this one of yeah. the servers that that an unwell's private who knows but uh what's really interesting right now guys if you are looking at net stats i think you'd have to be on ns2hd to be able to look a bit it's just an interesting technical look at what's going on i'm going to try and go into the ready room to show you because Unfortunately, it's behind another player. Anyway, you can see basically the server's updating itself every... Oh, it's back. There, it's back. That was really cool because you could watch the oh. prediction frames and they were going up. Basically, the game was predicting 400 frames and then the server was updating it. It's fascinating to watch, but it looks like um, it's back. It might have just been a bit of internet poop, you know, in the pipes. Yeah, yeah, something happened there. But I'm glad it's back, so we're back in the game, 11 and a half minutes, so everything is cool, the teams keep on playing, no referee call the replay, so we absolutely come back, and this is a really great matchup, so I wanna keep seeing that. So France is hitting actually the double pressure here, going on the harvesters inside Data Core, and at the same time working on the Gorge Tunnel. Ah, Heracles is not going for the Carapace, oh never mind, what, what goes here? What's going on with the aliens? I don't know. I, I feel like they might have decided they weren't playing any. Yeah, they're ready rooming, so they don't want to play it. Interesting, you know, that just felt to me like there was they're some garbage all. in the pipes, you know. All of Finland's crashed or something, you know, like... They crashed, yeah. You know, it, it, sometimes room. there's lag on the internet and, and, and things go down. So that looks like that might have been what happened. The server just wasn't updating anymore, and it's sad, but it looks like... I mean, I guess this will be a replay game. I'm not sure. I, uh, no referees called anything, though. Finland obviously thought... It was game over. Or they crashed. No, they're actually... Yeah, they're all gone. Maybe... They're, they're gone, yeah. I mean, instantly, three players crashed. Okay. Suddenly, so... Um, gonna leave the call to Gohan Sita, who's an admin right now, so I'm just gonna... We will tell right now. Oh, well. For everyone watching on SCHD, I hope you enjoyed that video. Obviously, we'll be back with the next match uh, straight after this one on the channel. And... Uh, It'll either be the third match or the second match, depending on what the referees decide. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you all soon for more SHC videos.